blew the horn to see if it would move, and it, the creature came up out of the water about five feet, a long neck and a big head. Animal X investigates the weird world of animal mysteries. First to a sea creature said to have haunted the waters off America's east coast for more than three centuries. Could America's east coast be home to an ancient legend, a mysterious monster of the deep? For more than 350 years, locals who live along this stretch of the Atlantic Ocean have been seeing something strange in the sea. They believe they share their beautiful water playground with the great New England sea serpent. From the coast of New England north up to Canada, hundreds of witnesses claim to have encountered the serpentine creature. History shows it is one of the world's best documented sea serpents, up to 80 feet long, with a strange series of humps. His eyes was right piercing, that's what got to me. He looked right through me. Type of a monster with a head like a horse, but a body like a snake. What I've found is that there are 235 valid sightings of an unknown creature dating back to 1638. To investigate this marine mystery, Animal X travels to the tranquil seafaring town of Gloucester, Massachusetts, where, over three centuries, compelling eyewitness accounts have kept this ancient legend alive. Fisherman Charles Bungay was netting the day's catch about eight miles off Fortune Bay on the southern coast of Newfoundland when he locked eyes with the hideous monster. His face looked something like a, between a horse and a camel. It was about, his face was about this long, I'd say, down straight down. He just shoved his head down underwater and took it up and turned it and looked right at us again, you know, and didn't want to. It didn't kick up any water, it just slid smoothly. Mechanic Bob Crew was on land when he had his close encounter driving along a deserted road overlooking the bay at Cape Bonavista in Newfoundland. He saw a strange dark shape near some jagged rocks. What happened next shocked Bob Crew. His wife Debbie says the encounter with the strange beast has left a lasting impression on her husband, so much so that he is reluctant to talk about it. He blew the horn to see if it would move, and it did. And what he said was the creature came up out of the water about five feet, a long neck and a big head. And uh, he just waited, and it looked like the animal was feeding. So he just blew his horn again, and the animal just swam away a little bit and came back. And then it went under and it disappeared. He didn't see it anymore. Bonavista Mayor Betty Fitzgerald believes many people have seen the sea serpent. But fear of ridicule has become a powerful weapon to keep most silent. It's a mystery to me, and it's a mystery to a lot of people in town that something like this was seen in our area. And who am I or anyone else to say that those people were lying? We've seen something and we don't know what it is, so it'll remain a mystery, I guess. A lot of people around this area have seen it, but nobody ever mentions it unless you bring it up, they'll say, oh, well, I can remember seeing that, but I never ever told anybody because you get too much heartache. Locals who are willing to talk about this mystery believe a rock formation near Bob Cruz's sighting could be the serpent's home. Known as the dungeon, it has two tunnels leading to the sea. New York author June O'Neill has tracked the New England sea serpent on its journeys. It has been a 30-year interest. It's between 60 and 80 feet long. It's dark brown or black on its back, cream colored on its belly. It has a snake-like but horse-sized head, which it swims with it out of the water, held at an angle to the water. 
um, and it swims with a peculiar vertical undulation, which makes no sense whatsoever. As legend has it, up until the early 1940s, annual summer visits to Gloucester by this snake of the sea were an accepted phenomenon. Back in 1817, it caused a real sensation. Witnesses reported an incredible event, how it spent the entire month of August at play in the harbor. For the most part, it, it traveled among the, uh, the boats here in the harbor for a compelling amount of time, uh, giving everybody a really good chance to have a look at it. And we're at Stage Fort Park, where hundreds of people gathered with their spyglasses to have a glimpse of this unknown creature from the depths. Dr. Edward Bosefield has had a 50-year career in marine biology and is considered an expert on aquatic megaserpents. The Canadian scientist has spent years investigating another mysterious sea reptile called the Cadborosaurus, or caddy. Dr. Bosefield believes the body form and swimming style of caddy and the New England serpent are virtually identical. Characteristically, when it's swimming at the surface, it has a horse-like head in profile. The neck is relatively long, and characteristically, there are two or more vertical humps or loops in tandem, one behind the other, uh, right behind the head and neck. Dr. Bosefield has no doubt the creatures are real, but he fears maybe not for much longer. He believes this prehistoric survivor is now under threat of extinction because of man. This animal is subject to all the negative influences of the human species in coastal waters, and this includes uh, oil pollution, uh, toxic chemical pollution, other noxious substances. But in our view, a serious form of pollution is noise pollution. But many skeptics doubt sea serpents even exist. They have dozens of theories about what witnesses could be seeing. Dr. Bosefield hits back, claiming no eyewitness accounts match anything in the known animal kingdom. I've spent my entire career studying crustaceans and let me assure you, there is no similarity whatsoever. So uh, these off-the-top-of-the-head guesses, uh, to my view, have no credibility whatsoever. You've got to see it yourself to believe it. But I saw what I saw, and you can't change that. To my knowledge, there is nothing that has ever existed on the planet that combines all the features of the sea serpent as it's described in New England waters, making it an authentic ex-animal. Serpents have been a part of sea legend and folklore since man first set sail. Whatever witnesses have seen in this case, they all agree. The ocean is a big, unexplored playground for many strange creatures. The New England sea serpent may well be one of them. The mysterious tales of the animal world continue to fascinate and perplex us. After all, it's said there are stranger things in heaven and earth than we can think of. You've just seen some of them on Animal X.